On this Junior's Gasoline Alley, we're gonna install some Focus RS rotors and blue calipers on the back of my Focus ST so they can finally match the front brakes. If you're interested in doing the fronts, I've got a link down in the description below. But let's go ahead and pop open the trunk and I'll show you what I have inside. So we'll go over everything here in a bit, but what I have inside of the car are my newly painted caliper brackets that are from a Mazda 5. And now these were really important because these caliper brackets are a little larger than stock, which means that they're actually going to do a great job of being able to carry the stock calipers uh, and fit the new rotors. But I didn't want to just do stock calipers because while I was at it, why not get freshly rebuilt factory Focus RS calipers. Now these calipers are identical to the factory uh, calipers that are on an ST, except for they come in the blue that matches the rest of the car. And if you take a look there, the aftermarket paint is not 100% perfect, uh, but it's actually really quite close. So we'll go ahead and get these installed. And of course, because I want everything to match up, I've got a nice set of factory RS rotors. And then of course, we got to toss the factory RS pads in while we're at it. So let's go ahead and get my car lifted up on the lift and we'll get at replacing these factory brakes. So with the car up on the lift, we'll start with taking the wheels off. So what we got now with everything off is we've got to take our caliper off. But the first thing that I'm going to want to do is I'm going to see whether or not I can get this e-brake done. I may have to do that after the uh, caliper is off, but uh, let's go ahead and we'll see what that's like. There we go. That worked out pretty well. And then out the e-brake cable will come and put that off to the side. Now we can uh, work on this caliper here. Should be pretty easy. What we're gonna do is basically behind these two caps here, one on the top and one on the bottom, you're gonna have a little plastic cap and then it's gonna be a seven millimeter on the inside. So these aren't going to be too, too tight, but you're still going to have to make sure that you get them loosened up. These are for the sliders on the brake caliper. Unfortunately, as it turns out to get to the lower, uh, we're going to go ahead and have to remove our uh, sway bar and link here just using an open wrench get this all coordinated and off it goes we're leaving the six millimeter on the inside that way the ball joint doesn't shift on us so you just slide that in six mil So at this point, next step is gonna be the caliper spring. This has to, uh, to come off first. So I'll move you to where you can see this. 
but basically um, with the spring we should be able to get our little pry tool in spring comes off now with a little bit of leverage the brake caliper is going to come off here so this sometimes takes A little bit of working back and forth and uh, off that'll come and kind of put this up to the side here take off the factory pads uh, which Actually, it's amazing. They're pretty well ground down. I don't know what's been getting into them. But take a look at that. Plenty of meat left, but uh, no moss. And then the rotor is uh, pretty shot looking too. Hmm. Well, now we gotta go after getting the caliper bracket off. So behind this bracket, there's gonna be a 13 millimeter bolt, one right there. go off those things come and with the caliper bracket off all we got to do now is convince this rotor to come off of the car. And there we are. So underneath, you'll see the hub and uh, really all it takes so this is the new caliper bracket this is the old one and you'll notice that they're uh, pretty much identical except for the height and that's the point so the Mazda 5 actually runs larger rotors than what the uh, uh, what the Focus ST does and these are the ST caliper bracket so with the taller caliper bracket that's gonna mean I'm gonna be able to space the rotor uh, just a little bit further out and it just mounts up to exactly the same place as before just with a much bigger rotor other thing you're going to notice is just how much bigger the new rotor is compared to the old uh, it's going to make a pretty sizable difference up on the car not to mention that having the nice black rotor hats is going to make a heck of a difference on how nice it looks on the car We'll go ahead, begin the swap to the new rotors by sliding our new caliper bracket into place here. Slide over, reusing the old hardware. Now we're gonna get this snugged up, but not necessarily all the way tight. Um, just gives us an opportunity to move as needed here. They're snugged up. So we've lightly put on our caliper bracket here. Now let's go ahead and start dealing with the brake caliper. So we're gonna need to uh, get this to come off. So it's gonna be a little bit of a chore here, but before we do that, what I'm gonna do to give us a little bit of room is uh, here behind it, you might see this bolt. Uh, that's a little eight millimeter that we're gonna go ahead and take off and this should start to give us a little bit of room to be able to move this hose around there we 
do. That's gonna pop out. And now that's gonna allow us to fight with this. So what we need to do is get the hose off and then once we do that, we're basically just gonna wanna move it onto the new caliper as quick as possible. So I'm just gonna fight with it here <clears throat> to break it loose. This is gonna take a little bit of work to get done, but there we go. Because once it's loosened here, old caliper comes off in as quick of a fashion as you can so you don't lose too much brake fluid. We'll go ahead and begin to spin the new one on. Once that's spun on, now we need to uh, go ahead and just make sure that we do everything we can Get this as tight as we can. That ready to go, we can start to uh, load up this caliper. Uh, so by that, what I mean is we need to take the two sliding pins that actually came out of the old caliper. These are what are gonna slide right into here. I'm gonna take these out, use some grease, slather it on, because we want these to be able to move real nice and smooth. And then when you insert them, it's a good idea to kind of try to rotate them a little bit. That's gonna help spread the grease around. We'll do it on the second one here. With those on there, now it's gonna be a good time to make sure the two bolts behind here. Are nice and tight. With those tight, now it's time to put our brake pads on. So the pad without the spring is gonna go to the outside here. Pad with the spring goes to the back there. And now we can work on getting our caliper. to slide right into place. Start to screw that in. Now we can get that original spring put back on, uh, which is gonna work out pretty simple here. Now that that's on, last thing to figure out is how to take care of our e-brake. So, so to get the e-brake in, you're just going to slide right through the hole there. Then you can take your little tool that I have here, and now we're basically just going to Do that. Quick little rotate. And in the e-brake is. So everything's back together. With everything tightened up, now we just need to do the little caps that are gonna go on the back of the caliper. Boots, and on you go. So next up, 
gotta bleed the brakes. At this point, it's past midnight and I'm just trying to get this done. So here's a voiceover of some B-roll. Basically, I'm using some DOT4 brake fluid. Uh, this is the Motul uh, brake fluid, the RBF for resting bitch face 600 fluid. It's going into my Motive power bleeder, which is a pressure bleeder. As you can see, it's connected up uh, through a hose and adapter to go on to the master cylinder of the car. It's important you never run out of fluid uh, when you're doing this, so you basically pump up the pressure bleeder, it sends positive pressure through the braking system. And uh, as I put on my catch can here in the back, uh, basically what we're going to see is I'm just going to hook that up. What I'm going to do is I'm basically going to open up uh, the bleeder valve, as you can see here, and we're just going to start to watch some brake fluid come through. The trick with a pressure bleeder is it's using positive pressure from the master cylinder and it's going to push air bubbles all the way through. So let's uh, let's kind of just take a watch. Essentially what we're trying to do is remove all of the bubbles out of the braking system. When we go through and we see that it goes for several seconds with the positive pressure and that there's no bubbles the last step in this process is simply just to close off the caliper and move on to the next. Now I should mention you always do the caliper that's furthest away from the master cylinder first. So in this case because uh, the master cylinder is on the left hand side front of the vehicle, I'm starting with the passenger or the right rear, then you go left rear, right front, left front. And then once all four brake calipers are totally clear with no brake fluid, you cut them off, you close them up, go for a drive, make sure everything worked out right. So thanks so much for watching this video on installing the Focus RS rear brakes. They definitely uh, make an aesthetic difference, maybe a little bit of braking difference. The real important thing is they're now on the car, the rear matches the front, and everything looks good. So thanks for watching, be sure to hit subscribe, leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video, and if you need anything from this video, I'm going to try to link as much as I can down in the description below.